Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th episode of DraftKings, the only podcast that gives you all of the top of the limited information you could ever need. I'm Shyler and with me today as usual is Tyler. How you doing? Hey. Awesome. Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, going to talk about our uh, first couple drafts that we've done. I've only done one of Shadows of Renistrat and then our pre-release experiences. Um, Tyler's had a lot more experience than I have <laughs> at this, but... Um, a yeah, but first before we get to that, we gotta open a pack and see what we would pick out of the pack. Today we're just gonna do a pack of Shadows of Renistrad, cause it's brand new and why not, sort of thing. So we're gonna get to the comments. All right, first we got Storm Rider Spirit. It's a uh, four and a blue for a three three with flash and flying. Um, and it's a really really solid flyer. Mm-hmm. With flash, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Okay. I made uh, the mistake of not picking up too many of these, or and or running them. You okay. should have played. You should have played the one that you had. Yeah. Um, a few passed around me, but I yeah, never. You, I didn't really pick them up just because I didn't think five mana for. I didn't realize it had flash too. Yeah. I just thought it's so worth five it. mana it's, for a three three really five flyer. Isn't right. it? It's great. <laughs> you have to evaluate it differently than a ground creature each other. You yeah, can't, you can't evaluate it the same. <clears throat> yeah, but then what is five what is for a three three is is worth it, especially in limited. Maybe not other formats, but especially in limited. Okay. <clears throat> um, pieces of the puzzle. It's uh, two and a blue for sorcery. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put up to two instant instant and or sorcery cards from among them into your hand. And put the rest into your graveyard. This Um, is great. Shyler got a lot of good play off of this yesterday. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's great for for enabling delirium. um, Because you can take the stuff you need and then that's throw what the rest it, in your yard. Yeah, you know? that's what it did for me. And it's, and, and it's great for finding, time. like like he had Startled Awake last night, and yeah. it's it's great for pulling your, your bomb out of your deck. That is if it's an instant or, and or sorcery. Yeah. But, and the fact that which you a get couple, two... a couple of them are. So you a get two cards are. for one card for three mana. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, and, and you can help with delivery. Very valuable. Mm-hmm. Okay, Expose Evil. One in a white for an instant tap up to two target creatures and investigate. Uh, in my experience, this wasn't actually... It's, it's not that great. Yeah. It, it's okay. I'd it, treat it as okay. like just like it's, a it's kind of two-mana cantrip. It's, it's like a... It's a four-mana cantrip. If you think of it... If, if you're thinking of it as, as, yeah, as a yeah, cantrip, then you, have to, then you have to include the investigate. It's, it's yeah. a four-mana... So you're paying four to draw a card and tap two creatures. Which is, like, it's replaceable. Yeah. You'll run this if if you don't have much other stuff as, to run. As but your 23rd card. Yeah, as just, like, filler sometimes. Mm-hmm. Or, or if, if, if Investigate is important to your deck, because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of Investigate synergies that work well in this format. Yeah. Um, if you're running a lot of uh-huh. Investigate, it might be wor- uh, worth yeah. more running. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth more. I still wouldn't even then run more than like two copies, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shard of Broken Glass. It's one colorless for an equipment. Uh, equip cost is one, and equipped creature gets plus one plus zero. Oh. Uh, whenever equipped creature attacks, you may uh, mill two off the top of your library. The equipment are really good in this in limited. Yeah. Like because yeah. <laughs> they can um, pump a, a little one one into like a huge threat. And yeah. like little to no And all the stuff that all the stuff that self self mills in this in this set really helps with delirium. Mm-hmm. Um and delirium is really it, it's really good to have delirium. Yeah. A lot of the time creatures <laughs> Although you may uh, not, you, work better. You may like, not want to attack I, I mean I mean this is probably the least good out of the equipment in the set. Yeah. Like every single other equipment is better. <clears throat> yeah, because you you could, I mean, milling yourself can get dangerous and limited. Yeah, in other, <laughs> in other <laughs> yeah, formats, it's not as it's not as important. But in limited, you can very easily mill yourself out. This would be terrible uh, uh-huh. against a mill deck. 
Like if you're if you decide you're gonna <clears throat> mill to yeah, activate mm-hmm. delirium and then they mill you for like say they have start of the week like I did for thirteen. Yeah, yeah then you, you just you just lost yourself. all those cards. You've yeah. lost fifteen cards in one turn. <laughs> Alright, we've got Hulking Devil. Uh three and a red for a five two devil. It's Calvin Roots back. Um he's he's just a big dumb creature. I like the art though. That's it. I like this art um, better than Cobble Brute. Let's say that. <laughs> I'd play one or two, maybe. Like, like it's. I put it. I put it on the same level as Expose Evil. Um, yeah. Sure, it, it it trades up, but um, it dies to almost any blocker. Yeah, a lot of the things that it dies to almost every single blocker. In a the, lot of the things the that do that are like one <clears throat> power or something. They often have like a pump ability now. I'm realizing or something. Some way to get them bigger, really easily. So this. Will die pretty easily. All right. Next, we've got Kessig Dire Swine four and two green for a six six. Um, with Delirium, it says Kessig Dire Swine has Trample as long as you have Delirium. This guy got really scary for me. Yeah, if you can get Delirium with these guy with this guy. He's 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 just a big dumb green creature. That's he's good. Yeah, he's fine. This guy hit me down to. Uh, two with this thing, and I just couldn't recover mm-hmm. because it was a six-six trampler, and I'm like, ah, I have little yeah. zero threes. And like for and <laughs> my my deck too, it was super easy to activate delirium. Yeah, every single game, not um, not it's actually only not that hard. Not only in the game, I'm 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 not only in the game that I played against you, but in every single game, I got delirium easily. So this is e- very easily a. Six six would trample. Yeah, if you if you draft enough cards to activate delirium, then like it's the pretty green, easy to like make. Like the it. green vessel, especially like I, yeah. I use that, and the green vessel it it will just put th- um, three different card types in your graveyard. And yeah. It's great. <laughs> Not to mention it's an enchantment, and you have to sack it to activate the ability. So that puts in one automatically. So yeah, and that piece of the puzzle card yeah. that we just went over a little bit ago. Yeah, exactly. That it does gets the same delirium thing. into it. It does the same thing. So there's a lot of ways. All right. Next, Next we've got time. Dead Weight, which is one black for an for an aura. It, enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. Really cheap removal spell. It's it's a great removal spell. One of the best in the set. Yeah. Um, I played two in my deck last night, and they did a lot of work. Yeah. Even even putting on it on a three three, uh, it won't kill it, but it'll hit, render it useless from yeah, then on. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. It, it, because it, it can't helps. attack through, and it'll probably die if it if it mm-hmm. blocks. You know, it really helps. Like so, like I made your your two dudes uh, zero ones. Yeah, in in one turn. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so dead weight definitely. I think yeah, is the so first pick first so far. First pick so far. Okay, we've got Ember Eye Wolf. It's one in a red for uh, one two, with haste, and you can pay one in a red and. He's got fire breathing. He gets plus two, plus zero oh until the end of the turn. This thing did some work against me in, uh, so got, in a yeah. game last night too. This, he played this on turn two, turn three. He pumped it, so he hit me for four. The next turn, he laid me yeah. on the land, hit me for six. I'm like, I am gonna die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. It's a really good creature. Yeah. All right. The wolves in this set are just yeah. really quick and powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolves are really aggressive in this format. Yeah. All right, we got a equestrian skill. Um, it's three and a green for an aura. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus three plus three, and if it's human, it gets trample. Um, I don't really invest that much in auras in limited. They're not they're not usually good. Yeah. Un- un- unless un- unless they they give some kind of vig- I mean some kind of ev- evasion. But like, notably, uh, the human clause on this thing is is not hard to. To get to no, because no, a lot of the creatures lot of you run humans, are like if, if multiple you got a lot of humans, creature I types. Could, I could see you playing one or two of these if you got a lot of humans. Yeah, a lot of the creatures are like have like a human or something uh, creature yeah. type on them yeah. along with something else. So <clears throat> yeah, pretty easy to make. Still, something R's, have trample at least. R is usually not the way to go in limited. Yeah, but plus three, plus three, and trample for four seems okay. If you need it, it's, it's just that it's okay. <laughs> this would be good in uh, if you're trying to if your whole deck is like pumping up things, then maybe you'd want to take this. But like mm. equipment and auras, I guess. I guess I don't know if this is the I only aura that really does mix. much. Like, 
I don't know if you'd want to mix the two super much because you you still need you still need a, a vast majority of your deck needs to be creatures. Yeah. And limited, so um, you'd really have to squeeze this in if you wanted to play it. Yeah. All right. So okay. those are the commons. We'll get to the uncommons now. Okay. Okay, our first in common. Pour over the pages, three and two blue for a sorcery. Draw three cards, untap up to two lands, and then discard a card. Now, I wasn't um, sure how good this was. Oh, it's really good. Because I when had you, these past, I'm like, untapping two lands seems pretty good, and drawing two yeah. cards and discarding a card for three. Well, especially if you think about this, you have to do it in that order, right? Yeah. So you draw three, you look at your hand, then you can untap... Say um, 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 say you drew or you had in your hand already a madness card. You or untap like, yeah. you untap the two right lands that you need to cast that madness card. You discard the madness card. You cast it right there. Yeah, or that bounce right. spell it, that if it really helps with with madness that returns a non land permanent to their hand and mm -hmm. discard uh, makes them discard a card if you control a zombie. Right, right. You can yeah. exactly. So I kind of I, it's a great card. I don't, I don't remember how many came by me, but I think I passed one of them and then ended up getting it anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up is Fleeting Memories. Um, two, in a, two in a blue, um, when it enters the battlefield, investigate. Uh, and you, whenever you sacrifice a clue, target, a, target player mills three. Um, and... I've seen I've seen this at least three times. Mill somebody out completely. <laughs> um, yeah, you just draft this yeah. and investigate, and you're like, yeah, Sack. yeah. You draft this, and if 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 you're first picking this, you want to maximize on investigate. And yeah, you'll just mill them out. Like I've seen it happen. This it's, is by definition like real. a build around card. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a build around card. So this is definitely a card to first pick and stick with it if you if you want to mill them out. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of things that support mill yeah, hell, in this set. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, All right, the next card. Spiteful motives, three and a red for an an aura, with flash, an enchant. I'm, I'm with flash. Um, enchanted creature gets plus three plus O oh, and has first strike. Um, it's another aura, but um, I had, me and you had a particular experience with this card. Remember, he put. The one, the one guy in the pre-release, he he put the um, the the one card with the bug, right on on my creature. Oh yeah. Right, that um, that forces him to attack each turn, and if if that creature dies, then it flips and gives them a three four. Um, <laughs> and so, oh yeah. And so, and so he he equipped in my smaller creature with with that card. Yeah, to make it attack that every card, turn. To make it stuff. attack every turn, so that he could get a three three. So, so you put this on I it. flashed <laughs> this in. Right, so now I remember I'm, that. I'm, I'm, so now they couldn't they they couldn't block and kill it. So he, he yeah. didn't even get the three three. It was great. Uh, the <laughs> that, that, that was the flash, only that was the only uh, yeah. round of that pre-release yeah. we won. But still, yeah, that was a fun game. <laughs> yeah, that and that that was a huge part of it too. Yeah, mm -hmm. was it that? Wasn't it that something r rider that that dude riding a horse? Wasn't that the thing that got? I don't remember. Which I thought it was, it that, was but that got enchanted, but it, that's exactly how it happened. Though they 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 wanted to put it on a small creature, <laughs> and then I gave it plus three plus zero oh, and first strike, and they couldn't do anything. About yeah, it. and it had to attack, so they're like, oh, yeah. we just so they we just to... made this thing attack yeah. us. Yeah, <laughs> and they couldn't deal with it. Yeah. All right, um, so now we got to our rare, and our rare is second harvest. Um, two and two green. Uh, for each token you control, put a token onto the onto the battlefield that's a copy of that of that permanent. Um, really good with non legendary. Works particularly agents. well with the fleeting memories deck. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you just copy all your clues because yeah. this does work with clues. You have like four so clues just, on the battlefield. Yeah. You don't have eight you clues. You have eight, and that mills twenty four. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it um, does. I would put this in the same deck that I would put. And and it very well might come around because this isn't this isn't the kind of card that people look at and really want for their deck. And you can't really build around it other than like investigate. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. There's this is a There's specific a card lot. for yeah. specific decks, and yeah. oftentimes people aren't going to yeah. be in those decks, so you can yeah, probably so you get could, it. I if if I wanted to do this, I would probably first pick fleeting memories and 
the second Hopefully. harvest the second harvest would most likely come around. I mean yeah. first first pack, first pick, nobody's nobody's for sure in tokens. Yeah, so and it, at that point of, it'd be kinda of stupid for them to take Yeah, if you got you fleeting know, memories and then this wheeled to you, at that yeah. point I'd say you're in the fleeting memories sacrificing yeah. Clues deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would I would be in that deck. You then you just draft investigate and more fleeting memories from then on. And if maybe you get more second harvest, who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now Innistrad has a flip card in every pack, and so. we got <clears throat> one, two. So our flip Here card is. is Solitary Hunter. Three and a green for a three, four. Um, and at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast this last turn, uh, transform Solitary Hunter, and he becomes a five, six. Um, with at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casted two or more spells last turn, transform it. Um, it gets bigger. I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty good. The the vanilla mana costs. I, I mean, the vanilla power and toughness is 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 solid. It, it's it's not small. Yeah, it can you withstand know. a lot. I yeah, guess. It, it blocks a lot. It kills it, a lot it of the other lot. smaller flip things right. like that. Bareback Rider, or whatever and it's called, that I werewolves are that great I was for, talking about. Yeah, werewolves are great for putting pressure on your opponent because then they have to cast spells. You know, they can't just take yeah. a turn and wait. You know, or your creature's gonna get way your your creature's gonna get huge. My opponent wasn't paying attention to they their can't. their their uh, werewolf. They could yeah. have flipped it, you know, and started hitting me for more, but he didn't remember, and I didn't even realize it until halfway, three quarters of the way yeah. through the game, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Those spells were cast. That's what, that was supposed to flip, but you know, mm -hmm. at that point it was already like four or five turns had gone by without it flipping. So I don't know what the the result mm -hmm. would have been if it had flipped. But mm -hmm. yeah, all right. So um, this is our pack. For me, it would be between dead weight and fleeting memories. Yeah, I think uh, honestly, um, I would I would have a tough choice between those two because there's there's a ton of of investigate stuff that can make fleeting memories work. Yeah, and I, I think I take fleeting memories. You getting that first is is huge. Yeah, you know, um, because nobody else knows you have it, so they're passing you the investigate stuff. And I didn't notice too much of artifact and enchantment removal cards there's wheeling around. Lot. So there's not a lot. So oftentimes it's going to stay there. It's there's not stay. very much removal. Yeah, it's going to stay. So. That's a solid strategy. Yeah, they have to sideboard something in to get rid of it because yeah. nobody's gonna nobody's gonna main board enchantment removal. Yeah, unless they're stupid or something. <laughs> unless it's mirrored in or something, then don't you don't be stupid. Then you don't. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. now uh, what was I gonna say? Talk about the pre-releases and or the pre-release and well, our draft first last night. Yeah, our draft last yeah, night. And then you can talk about... Talk the, about the did you go to the release weekend draft, too? I, I did, but let's just talk about the two-headed giant Okay. Yeah. pre-release we did in the draft last night. Yeah, two-headed giant pre-release we did. That was that's that was our first time doing two-headed giant. It was pretty fun. Um, yeah, it was pretty great. We we won the first round, and we thought we were doing pretty good. Yeah. Like, we, we, <laughs> we talked about that already a, a little bit. We were convinced we, we had the we best had, decks, and then yeah. we just failed to do... Anything no, well, we, like after our first round, <laughs> we didn't get well, we didn't the, get damaged that through one, the second. That round, one really. round, that one round, that one dude kept countering spells and like, you remember? Yeah. The, um, the, um, the blue red deck. He, yeah, he, he had prowess casting. and counter spells. That's yeah. all it was. <laughs> yeah, it was just prowess and burn and counter spells, and that's that's hard to beat in limited. Yeah, <laughs> and like it wasn't just just mediocre stuff. It was like some of the best stuff there. He yeah, had fiery mm -hmm. temper. He had that. Three drop counter spell. Uh -huh. uh, he had um, the uh -huh. flying prowess thing, and then yeah. you know he'd just keep yeah. stuff on the battlefield that would block and kill and our stuff. His teammate wasn't even that good. He was just he was playing like green <laughs> white him. ramp. I don't know what you call it. It was know. green white. <laughs> but um, yeah, the pre release didn't. It just went straight downhill. Yeah, but the good news. Uh, we got to build some pretty neat decks, though. He, yeah. Tyler went with green red, and did you? Was it werewolves and stuff, or was it? It was. It was green. It was just yeah, werewolves, aggro, yeah, type stuff. And then you had the blue. Yeah, and I got to build the, the deck I red. wanted to build in, in no, the first it was, place. It was red was, black that I built. Oh, red black. I I'm, I'm, I'm remember we didn't get good green, so we didn't. So we yeah. didn't play the green. We it, did get that big hydra, a, but that's basically giant, the extent of it. 
In Two Headed Giant Limited, you have to share packs. Yeah. Yeah. How our store did it, we had to. We opened up, was it eight? Eight packs. Eight packs. And two promos. And, and we two had promos. To sh- we had to share packs and we had to, we yeah. had to build two de- different decks out of eight packs. Yeah. Um, and the reason they didn't do just like, you know, <clears throat> two pre release kits give you like, what was it, 10 to 12 packs each? Mm-hmm. Was because they added more to the price pool. Yeah. And, uh, Which was fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight is plenty to build yeah. two decks. And we opened really good blue white. So yeah. Shiler built a blue white deck. Blue white spirits. That that's what I wanted to build when we went in. I was hoping we'd get stuff for that, and mm-hmm. ended up building that. And then we had that big. We had uh, the invocation to Saint Traft and a we had really strong two equipment. Two burn from within. Yeah, and, and that's <laughs> that's why I was primarily red. Because yeah, because one of them was the two promo and one within. you opened one. Yeah. And then, and I got a promo for uh, a promo burn from within the night before, also. Yeah. Uh huh. But that that equipment that we opened, I, I was playing, and then the invocation of Saint Traft, and I had both of those on one creature at one point. But then the second I did that, they, you they know, responded. Killed it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, that that'll become yeah. like completely unkillable once once that resolves. <clears throat> uh huh. I was in the process of equipping it, and that's when they killed it. Mm hmm. What can you do? Mm-hmm. Flyers aren't yeah aren't the best at blocking because yeah, they usually one, have low toughness. Mm-hmm. One pre- particular highlight from the night before the midnight pre-release was I I got beat by Trisca, Triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> that was fun. I I got almost I almost got beat a second time. It's like an achievement when you kill mm-hmm. someone with Tris, Triskaidekaphobia. Yeah. Yeah, game game. Um, the the second game, I almost lost to it. I I had I had to actually hit myself for three with my burn from within, to save myself. Yeah. To to keep myself a, a, a away from thirteen. Yeah. A lot of decophobia the... is good and limited. It's it's not bad. Yeah, what Luis Scott Vargas was saying is it's like, it's like once you play Triskaidekaphobia, it's like, how quickly can you kill them when they're at seven life, you know? Because yeah. that's basically what it is. Once they get down to 13, they're dead. So you just... It's just like they're at 7 life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just... <laughs> you have to deal 7. And that's yeah, all deal you 7 and that's it. Yeah. And because on their upkeep, they lose the game. That's the first clause on the card. You yeah. lose the game if you have 13 life. And then... And then, yeah, and then um, you gain or lose life. Yeah, then you gain or lose life. So you, you, you can pretty much set them on the life total you want them. But then... Once you play it, they're like, "Okay, I get to, eat, I, I'm gonna try to burn you out seven life, and then have you lose instead." <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, exactly. At the same time, yeah, they can, they they only have to do seven to you, also. Yeah, everyone right. has to do seven to anyone. So right, yeah. If they have you on thirteen, your triskaidekaphobia will kill you. Can you imagine how big of a madhouse it would make? Like, just playing this in commander, though. Like, everyone's just like, you're going to 13 first. And like, no, you're going to 13. <laughs> Only if it was realistic. I don't think 13 is really realistic. If everyone's like know, around 20 life, then maybe. Yeah, but when, how long, How much does that happen? Usually somebody's super high up. Somebody's, yeah. Somebody's Probably the person playing Triscuit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, um, and the so, draft last night. Yeah, the draft last night. So I'll go over some highlights of my deck. Okay. I basically stayed... I opened my first pack and I got two rares in the pack because the way Innistrad's set up now is you can get rares in the flip you can, you can card get up, spot. Up to, and you can get up to three rares or mythics in a pack. Up yeah. to three. Because the foil and then the uh-huh. uh, flip card is, can also be a rare and then the regular rare. So yeah. um, I got lucky and my flip card was Startled Awake, which is a mythic, and, mm-hmm. and it is a four drop mil 13, and then it has an ability. Or target player mills, or the opponent mills, mills 13, 13, and then it has an ability for 5 that you can only use as a sorcery to flip it, and it turns put, into put a... Put it onto the battlefield. Yeah, flip. put it on the battlefield flipped. And, and then it's a skulk th- creature that when he, it deals combat damage, it flips back over... And goes to your hand. And goes to your hand, so... So you can it, recast it. Yeah, you can recast it as many times as you have the mana open. Really. Mm-hmm. And... And the, the second card you you got, I, I I actually saw the startled awake that you took, so I passed it to you. Remember the um, 
the take control of target creature. Yeah, the <laughs> foil rare. I passed him a foil, foil rare oh, in his called? color after he. Uh, the let me find it really quick. Okay. The welcome to the fold. That's yeah. the card that he gave me. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that he picked Startled Awake, so which, I passed that to him. Yeah, which is a four drop sorcery that you can take control or you gain control forever of a creature with toughness two or less. Uh, but if you cast it for its madness cost, which is X and two blue, then you take a creature with X or less. Uh huh. With toughness X or less. Yeah. So it, it's pretty huge. You you, you yeah. actually used it against me and killed me. I used it against another guy. I took his. Yeah. He had equipped a three-one <clears throat> guy with a, a, mm -hmm. a artifact, an equipment mm -hmm. that made his power bigger, but not mm -hmm. his toughness. So I'm like, I'll take that stuff? from you, <laughs> and then use that to kill his huge four-five. Um, mm -hmm. What's the haste madness vampire four something guy? Uh, I don't know. Ah, I can't remember, but it was it was a big guy, and he's like, I'm going to die if I don't do it, so mm -hmm. took it and killed it, and I still lost that game, but <laughs> yeah, a lot of the deck was just basically relying on milling, because I also had two, that's right, two Manic Scribes, mm -hmm. and activated Delirium on both copies on in one game, and that was insane. Every tur every one of his turns, he was milling six, and then I would just keep casting Startled Awake. <laughs> I cast Startled mm -hmm. Awake, and then got both both of the Manic Scribes down and activated Delirium within like one or two turns, mm -hmm. and the game was over pretty much from then on. And then a whole bunch of bounce and and uh, just like control on control and just. Blocking mm -hmm. creatures, pretty much, was what this deck was. Uh, mm -hmm. I went two and one mm -hmm. for the night, and we both went two and one. Yeah, Tyler went two um, one as well. I built the green black deck. Um, where I'm trying to find the card. I uh, well, I picked up two pack guardians. They got passed to me, which is which I thought was odd because um, it's it's one of the best creatures in the whole format. Yeah. Um, and anyways, those did a, those did a ton of work, plus the two, the two dead weights that I picked up, and just a, a lot of mid-rangey creatures, you know, that, that supported each other, and how pack resurgence, which made the wolves bigger, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I just had, I just had, a pretty good creature You were just pretty much, yeah. like, just... Yeah, I had slam creatures down decks. and yeah, a, a lot of swing. creatures. Yeah, and I, I, um, Shadler's the only one that beat me last night, and that's because <laughs> he milled me out. Yeah, that's only because of Startled Awake. Yeah. If I hadn't pulled Startled Awake, I would. I don't know him. what my deck would have been because <laughs> the whole time, the whole time, I could not figure out what, what other color to go because I was trying to not take your guys' yeah. cards. John well, was in white just, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in green. Green black. Green black. And I'm like, I can't take black, I can't take green. I'm taking blue already, so I need to take red. And at that point or I was like I was or like or midway or, or yeah. At that point when I realized that I was yeah. like midway or three quarters of the way through the second pack. Yeah. So I didn't really have yeah. much choice. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, just, I luckily got two pyre mm -hmm. those two of those hounds hound. that, that get counters mm -hmm. off of instance and sorceries. Mm -hmm. And then that uh convicted mm -hmm. killer flip card mm -hmm. so i had some stuff and then i get that uh six mana or five mana deal five mm -hmm. to something if it kills it exile it mm -hmm. yeah and that's basically the deck <laughs> yeah I, pack guardians plus and, and removal spells that's pretty much what won me the games yeah i had i had a throttle picked up a throttle throttle is really good yeah. Instant speed, minus four, minus four. <laughs> you deadweight one of my creatures and then you throttled it to kill it the rest of the way. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. I remember that game. That was yeah. fun. That was the same game you put yeah, deadweight on both one creatures. Dude, this one dude put, put the direheart swine onto the battlefield trying, trying to block lethal, right? <laughs> because I, 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 I had Pat Guardian and uh, Tutu Wolf and, and a uh, the one two skeleton guy that you can reanimate and a Tutu Zombie. Yeah, and so uh -huh. he was trying to block lethal because he had like, um, I think like less than ten life, 
<laughs> so I throttled his his dire swine, his six six dire swine. So he was a two two, and swung with everything. <laughs> Be funny if he had dead weight yeah. as well. You just completely kill it, and then you just uh -huh. I win. Yeah, but I, I mean, the combat would have killed it no matter what, unless he blocked the skeleton, in which time I would just have reanimated the skeleton. Yeah. So it wouldn't have helped. <laughs> All right. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, how our pre-release went and our first <clears throat> couple drafts. Uh, we will definitely be playing more. I want to play a lot I'll more I'll be playing drafts. every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on... Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at ShyGuy768. And you can follow Tyler. Uh, Tyler A. Hill7918 uh, on Twitter. And The Edge452 um, on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, but until we meet again, guys, may you all draw well, but most of all, have fun.